Good morning, I'm Mike Sands with your Sports Report, where Marshall Henderson named the top collegiate player in the state of Mississippi. The Ole Miss sharpshooter and SEC's leading scorer, edging fellow finalists, teammate Murphy Holloway, and Southern Miss's Dwayne Davis in becoming the first Rebel to ever claim the Howe Trophy. And it may be spring break, but Henderson left with some last-minute cramming to do. It feels good. I didn't even know what it was until, you know, yesterday uh, they called us, said meet at the airport at, <laughs> at 10 o'clock. We're, we're, you know, we're going to take go on down to Jackson. I'm like, all right, what are we going to Jackson for? You know, they explained it to us. And now we've gotten here and uh, talked to some people, got to walk around, uh, you know, the Hall of Fame a little bit. I, I understand more how, how, how big of an award this is um, in the state of Mississippi. There's a lot of great players, you know, Dwayne and Murphy right here. You know, two great players. That's why they're here. And it's an honor to be a part of that. As for the ladies, Mississippi State's Martha Allwalt, today's recipient of the Gillum Trophy. Speaking of women's hoops, the Lady Statesmen in the Division II field of 64 for the eighth straight year, heading to Fort Lauderdale for the NCAA South Regional this weekend. DSU, the region's number three seed, matched up in the first round with Gulf South Conference foe North Alabama. It was exciting for our young ladies and for us to see the bracket uh, last night come out. Uh, and I don't think we've gotten too high or too low during the season, which I think is good at this time of year. I, I, I noticed today that during practice where we pretty much have the same demeanor, uh, which is great for us going into the tournament. I don't think there'll be a whole lot of nerves. I think playing a team for the third time, it'll be a lot like a conference game. You know, we've got to be ready to go and, and know it's one and done, uh, but I like the mindset of our team right now, at least on a Monday. Coach Midlick referencing two prior meetings with North Alabama with the Lady Statesmen on the losing end of both. They hope the third time's a charm when they meet again on Friday. Now to high school football where Charleston choosing to promote from within in replacing departing head coach Tony Vance with Scott Martin. Martin spending the past two seasons with Charleston serving as offensive coordinator has previous head coaching experience at Kirk Academy, leading the Raiders to a pair of double-A state title game appearances and plenty of talent gone at Charleston, but expect the Tigers to look no different offensively. Uh, we've been had success, you know, running the offense that we've run uh, in the uh, last couple of years, and our kids have bought into it. And, and mine and Coach Vance is, uh, you know, we, we count on the same page. So uh, it's like somebody asked me the other day, so what, what are you, you going to change? Well, offensively, we're not going to change much. It should look like the same old Charleston Tigers, just a different head coach. Schedule as always. Oh, yeah. You know, I now the Tigers last fall averaging over 41 points per game and repeating as 3A North half champions. That's going to do it for your morning sports. Now back to you.